This glorious counter is the treasure that all our players are on the hunt for today. Will any of them retrieve it and go home £10,000 richer? Let's find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Dave, a carer from London. I'm Kirsty, an ice cream shop owner from Cornwall. And I'm Hector, a retired police officer from Cumbria. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nested in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you need to bank as much money as you can to try and stay in the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hands on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. Molly is the younger sister of Andy in which animated Pixar film series featuring Woody and Buzz Lightyear? Kirsty. Toy Story. It is Toy Story, Kirsty. Yes, nicely done. So you get to make the first choice because you got the first correct answer. Do you want to play or pass? I'll play, please. OK, where are we going to go? Drop zone two, please. Light up two for Kirsty, please. <laughs> OK, steady drop. Just stays on its edge. Let's see, maybe get a little movement on the double. Hopefully. That's three. It's flat, flat. yeah, there you go. Nice. Can we get something over the top shelf for you here, Kirsty? Fingers crossed. A couple there, yeah, lovely. And is the tipping point going to give you any action? It's going to get close. Oh, no, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> Nothing drops, I'm afraid. Still got two left, though. Here's the next question. The alcoholic drink snake bite is made using equal parts. Kirsty. Cider and lager. OK, yeah, I can accept that. Equal parts <laughs> of cider and which other alcoholic beverage? Beer or lager? Yep, yeah, absolutely right. Uh, Kirsty, you going to play again? Drop zone two, please. And stay with it. Fire it up, please. Rattles down. Similar spot, which could be good. Mm. If the top shelf wants bit to go. Bit of a gap, though. Little bit. Oh, I just okay. navigated that nicely. And... Yay! Ooh, lovely oh, lovely drop. Well done, Kirsty. It's <laughs> a good start. Eight across the tipping point for you there. Very nice. £400. Gets you off the mark. Sets the standard for the others as well. And you've got one counter still to play. Here's your next question. Which seaside town in Devon has the local nickname Torbados? Kirsty. Torquay. It is Torquay, of course it is. Uh, right, Kirsty, you've played two counters. Do you want to play your last or would you like one of the boys to play? I think I'll let one of the boys play. OK, Dave or Hector? I'm going to get Dave to play. Right, Dave. Thank you. You're Let's welcome. see if we can get something <laughs> from the machine. What's looking good now? Drop zone three, I think. Yeah? Let's yeah. up drop zone three. Here we go, Dave. Stays on its edge. Pretty central. What are you thinking, Dave? I'm hoping. Oh, it's flat. Yes. That's okay. Now, can we get enough of a squeeze? I think it's the mm. silver one by the double. You might get enough. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well done. And it flips with another. Yeah. Anything coming over the edge? Oh. No. Good pass by Kirsty. Wasn't going to go, I'm afraid, Dave. You've still got two left, though. Here's your next question. The Scottish National Party is commonly referred to by what three letter abbreviation? Hector. SNP. Abbreviation, it is the SNP, yes. Hector, would you like to play? Drop zone three, please. Fire up, drop zone three. Oh, slams down. That hopefully could bring the double down. Is anything going over the door? Is it going to go down? Oh, not quite. Just shuffled around and moved laterally, Hector. Very frustrating. Nothing from your first drop. Here's your next question. In 2022, which American technology company launched the second generation of AirPod Pro earphones? Hector. Apple. Apple is correct. Going straight back in? Yes, I'll try drop zone three again. Three again it is. <laughs> a 
Ooh, settles nicely. That should nudge the double down, surely. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, and some extras in the middle, which is nice. Is the tipping point ready? No! Oh, oh. Hector! <laughs> They're dangling. Just gonna cling there, teasing you. <laughs> You've got one counter left. Here's your next question. In tennis, what one word term is used to indicate a score of 40 40? Kirsty. Juice. It is juice, yes. You're gonna play your last one? Drop same three, please. Light up three, Kirsty. <laughs> Not gonna take much, is it? And you'll grab Hector's danglers. They're right there. Oh. But is the top shelf gonna go? Yes! Oh. Surely. <laughs> just gonna a do it then. Nibble. That's it. Any more? And some extras as well, Kirsty. <laughs> Nicely done. Nice one. Six counters for you there, Kirsty. Very nice. £300. You've done that brilliantly. Let's take it, put it into your bank. It's going to leave you on £700. You've used all three counters now, though, so for the time being, you are out. So just Dave and Hector left in. Dave, you've still got two counters. Hector, you've got one left to play. Here's the next question for you guys. The mallard is a common species of what water... Hector. Duck. Water bird. Yes, duck. Right, you've got one counter, Hector. You can play it or you could ask Dave to play. Drop zone three. Drop zone three it is. Got to go to the right. It has, doesn't it? The left is pretty sparse now. Go right, machine. Right, 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 right. Oh, there's a bit of a gap. Maybe get that little pair through the middle down. Oh, oh Hector, <laughs> no. Didn't work out, did it? So I'm afraid nothing from your third and final counter. Okay. That's you out for the time being. Dave, it's just you left in. Because it's just you, don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to both these questions to put the counters into the machine, OK? Here's your first one. In 1979, NASA's Pioneer 11 space probe became the first spacecraft to fly past which ringed planet in the solar system? Mm, Saturn. Saturn is correct, Dave. Yeah, nicely done. Where would you like to play this first one, Dave? Drop zone two, please, and change it up a bit. Well, drop zone two it is. Oh, Dave. That wasn't the best timing. I think you've got away with it. Yes, you have. I have indeed. Now, <laughs> can we get you some money as well? Kirsty's the only one with any money yet. Ooh, lovely. Yes. Bit of a gap, though. Is it going to slide into the gap? A little nudge? No. Just filling holes. Not ideal. Dave, one last question, one last counter. Here it is. In 1987, which pop duo had a UK Christmas number one with a cover of the song Always On My Mind? Bewitched. Not Bewitched. There was more than two of them. Uh, the Pet Shop Boys. OK. Pet Shop Boys. Dave, I'm afraid we're going to have to steal a counter from you. That's gone into the penalty pot. So as things stand, Kirsty has £700. Hector and Dave have nothing in the bank just yet, but... Thanks to Dave, there's now a count that's up for grabs in the penalty pot, so it's not over. I'm going to ask you all one last question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put this count into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck to all of you. Here comes your penalty pot question. On a digital 24-hour clock, the number 2300 hours. Hector. 11. Represents which time yeah. of the evening? It is 11. Nicely done, Hector. Quick as you like. Love that. Where do you want to put this penalty pot counter? Dropped on three again. Right, you're going back <laughs> for three, trying to get it on the right. Fire up, please. There is a double on the bottom shelf, which could be handy as well, on the left-hand side. Needs to be accurate, this one, Hector. Not made it to the right, but can that stack in the middle go? Yes, it can. Oh, they've separated as well. Good squeeze here. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? Yeah, well done. Finally got you something, Hector. Three counters, including the excitable one that jumped out to you, Hector. £150. Gets you off the mark. Let's take that from the machine, put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Kirsty is leading with £700. Hector has £150. Dave's got nothing in the bank just yet. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at a £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Dave, Kirsty, and Hector are battling out for the right to play for today's chatbot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. If the correct answer, we'll win them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be eliminated from the game. So, Kirsty, you're way out in the lead, which means you get to choose. You can play first, or you could ask Dave or Hector to play if you think the machine's not quite ready. 
I think I'm going to let one of the boys set it up for me. Very nice. And I'm going to get Dave. Right then, Dave, you're in the chair. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass. 45 seconds of Dave, please. Your time starts now. Bacon is a cured meat product typically derived from which animal? Pig. Correct. How many chambers are located within the human heart? Two. Four. Which Oscar-winning actor plays Dr Hank Pym in the Marvel film Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania? Chris Evans. Michael Douglas. Alaska and Hawaii both became American states during which decade of the 20th century? Mm, 21st. 50s. The Woolwich Ferry is a boat service that carries vehicles and passengers across which London River? The Thames. Correct. Sailor V was a UK number one hit for which Irish female pop group? The Witch. Correct. <laughs> Used in scent making, the waxy substance amber grease comes from which aquatic mammal? Pass. A whale. Which American poet wrote the 1914 work Mending Wall? Robert Frost. Three correct answers to put into the machine. I mean, this is two mentions of a witch in one show. It's pretty sensational. Uncanny. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can make it work <laughs> for you, Dave. Three counters. You need to catch Hector first. Mm -hmm. He's three counters ahead of you. So where do you want to put your first one? Drop zone three, please. Fire up drop zone three. Take my time. Yeah, there's a nice little double on the bottom. Oh, when you say take your time, Dave. I'm not sure you could have timed that worse. <laughs> it is flat. At least you got it flat. No riders today. Not yet. If you carry on like that, you might. Oh, we've got a couple here. Now, this could end up being quite nice if the double goes for you as well, Dave. Oh, that's a great start. Seven counters. 350 pounds. It's really, really good start. And that puts you ahead of Hector A, closing in on Kirsty. Two more to go. I think I'll go for drop zone three again. I'm trying to get the double counter. Yeah, fire up drop zone three, please. Nice. Settles nicely. Anything going over the top? Yes, still the one there. Now, should be a couple more that you've left dangling. That could go. Yes, they do. Wow, well done. Six more, day. Three hundred pounds goes in. You're up to six hundred and fifty pounds. Just shy of cursing now, and you've got one more to put in. What are you thinking now? And can I go for drop zone two, please, and maybe try to bring the mystery counter down? Fire up two, please. If you can get it on the right, that double could go as well. Mm. Put you in the lead. Oh, that's hard on the right. Could be on target if it goes flat. It is flat. Now, can we get that double to drop? Can we put you in the lead? Go on. Yes. So far, a little bit of lateral. Is it going to go? Going to get close? Going to get close? Going to get close? Oh, just teasing. <laughs> close, but no go. Sadly, didn't drop, but 650 pounds. Not too bad, Dave. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It puts you just behind Kirsty in second place. Well done. Right, Kirsty, we come back to you. You're ahead of Hector, so you can choose to put him in or you could play. I think I'll play, please. All right. 45 seconds for Kirsty. Your time starts now. Which English county is often referred to by its shortened form, Lanx? Lancashire. Correct. Since the 1890s, which British broadsheet newspaper has been printed on pink paper? Financial Times. Correct. What is the official capital city of the South American country, Chile? Oh. Pass. Santiago. The ancient Egyptian goddess, Tarawet, is often depicted as having the head of which large African mammal? Pass. Hippopotamus. Uh. The term Bond girl refers to the love interests or female companions of which fictional British spy? James Bond. Correct. In 1988, Anna Wintour became editor-in-chief of which American fashion magazine? Vogue. Correct. In art, the variety of underpaint known as gesso is traditionally what colour? Grey. It's white. <laughs> also known as basan flower. Out of time for this. Also known as basan flour, gram flour, which traditionally made using which pulse, did you know? Wheat. Chickpea. Chickpea. It's made oh. out of chickpeas. Oh, gram flour, yes, yeah. of course. Looking for a pulse. Mm. <laughs> Four correct answers, though, Kirsty. Not too bad. Four counters to put into the machine to try and extend your lead okay. over the boys. So, where should we start? Drop zone two, please. Let's do it. Fire up two. In we go. Bouncy drop and a good settle. That hopefully should bring that mystery yeah, down. I might get that over there. Hey! And can that connect with the bottom shelf? Cause some damage. Oh, or just a Not little quite. shuffle. Not to worry. Three more to go. Stay with two. Yes, please. Two again, please. Oh, 
hard on the right hand side. Now, might get the double there. Yeah, might well do. You want it to go with as many as possible. Oh, oh, come on, come on. oh. no. <laughs> that is a cruel pin. Oh. Just hold on to it. That could cause you a problem. Right, so nothing from your first two, Kirsty. No. Two down, two to go. I'm going to stick with two, I think. Drop zone two again. Perseverance. We go left this time. Oh. And it didn't settle. Is Hopefully, it go? if it goes flat... Please go flat. Yeah, that's on target with the one you first <laughs> counter, isn't it? Yes. Might push those ones over. Yeah, just that couple there. Come yeah. Yes. And the tipping point looks healthier now. Come Is it going to go come flat? Come on. Whoa. <laughs> one sneaks in. Desperately hoping they all stay. No. <laughs> 50 pounds Payback. did drop. <laughs> yes, isn't it, just? I'm going to stick with it, I think. Stay with two? Yes, please. One last hit for you here, Kirsty. The action's on the left, the double's on the right. That feels more potent. Is that top shelf going to give you any? Yes, it is. Oh, they spread nicely. If the double goes to it, it'd be very nice. And it is very nice. All came good in the end, Kirsty. Well done. Worth the wait. <laughs> Kirsty, eight more fell with that last counter. So £400 goes in, takes to 450 but we can double up that last £400 because the double dropped two. In the end, it looks a lot healthier. 850 in total. Let's yeah. take that and put it into your bank. And that's going to leave you £1,550. So very nicely done. Okay. Right, Hector, we come to you. Okay. 45 seconds for Hector, please. Your time starts now. Tiger Woods is a famous professional in which sport? Golf. Correct. My Universe is a 2021 UK top 10 single by Coldplay with which South Korean pop group? Pass. BTS. In January 2023, which singer confirmed she had married Marvel director and actor Taika Waititi? Pass. Rita Ora. In 1820, the ascension of which British king marked the end of the Regency era? Edward III. George IV. The food chain Nando specialises in serving which type of meat? Chicken. Correct. Pierre is the French form of which English boy's Nico. name? Correct. The constellations Ursa Major and Ursa Minor are commonly both said to resemble which animal? Lion. The bear. Which form of high-intensity functional training was developed? Oh, Hector, hard luck. Mm. Out of time in this one. Which form of high-intensity functional training was developed and founded by Greg Glassman in the year 2000? Oh. Any ideas? No. CrossFit. Have you heard CrossFit. of CrossFit? No. 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 Uh, Hector, three correct answers in the end. Three counters to put into the machine. So three chances to try and catch Dave, who has 650 pounds. You need 10 counters, Hector. Where are we going to get them? Drop zone four. OK, let's I'm do it. I'm looking more at the... Uh, the mystery? Mystery. Fire up drop zone four, please. <laughs> Coming towards the mystery, isn't it? If the top shelf wants to be generous. Yeah, there we go. Come on in, good squeeze. Right, get it. Getting close already. Watching oh. it forward, Hector. Nicely dialed in. Two more to go. Staying with four? Staying with four, yeah. Four again. Nicely on the left would be handy. That mystery's getting very close. Oh, yes. Oy. Need it to go flat. Not had a right yet, have we? Despite Dave's best efforts. <laughs> flat now, though. <laughs> Come on, good squeeze here. Come on, machine, give us something. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Hector. Doesn't like me today. Does it, it all comes down <laughs> to this drop. One last counter. Drops on four again, please. Let's have four, please, machine. We've set that side up really nicely. If we get it on the left, feels like the mystery could drop. <laughs> Can that help? A bit of lateral. Take some in the middle. Yes, 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 yes. Hey. They've separated. Come on, machine. Nice broad shove. Oh, oh wow. hold up. Hector, you needed 10 to catch Dave. That's 16 across oh. the tipping point. What a finish. <laughs> 800 pounds goes in. That's going to be enough to put you through. Dave, I'm so sorry. That means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. Sad. Let's take the 800 pounds and put it into your bank. That puts you on 950 pounds. Very nicely done. You, you also got your hands on the mystery prize. There's a golfing weekend for two, courtesy of Nell Coat Hall. Oh, fantastic. Do you play Thank golf, you. Hector? I do, yes. Lovely. Thank you very much. And more importantly, you've secured your place in the head-to-head -head because at the end of the round, Kirsty is still leading with £1,550.
Hector goes through in £950 a day. I'm so sorry, that means with £650, I'm afraid we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thanks for having me, it's been a great day. It's been really lovely to meet you. So it's Kirsty and Hector who'll be going head to head after the break for the right to play for a £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Kirsty and Hector. Well done to both of you for getting this far. You. Uh, we're about to find out which one of you is going to be playing a machine for the jackpot today. Uh, Kirsty, I think you might have my dream job. You run <laughs> your own ice cream shop. Yes. Uh, I how do. long have you been doing that? Uh, just a year. Wow. Yeah, just a year. Is it a family business? Are you all yes. involved? How yeah. many of you is there? So there's my, my husband, myself, and my three daughters. We're all involved. Hector, you an ice cream fan? Oh, very much so, yes. Favourite flavour? Uh, rum raspberry raisin. ripple. Raspberry ripple. Oh, yes. Raspberry ripple. Good choice. Raspberry ripple. That's a good choice. <laughs> uh, Hector, you're a retired police officer. Yeah. How long were you on the force? 30 years. Goodness me. And how are you enjoying retirement? Busier than when I was on the police force. <laughs> four lovely granddaughters that came along like buses after a retirement. Right, OK. So you needed to be there on hand. Oh, yeah. Try and keep yeah. them in order. You've done a brilliant job of getting back into this. You've still got a bit of work to do. You've got yeah. £950. Kirsty's leading with £1,550, but there is still a lot of money in the machine, so it's still plenty for you to try and win if you can. So best of luck to both of you. Thank you. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. You are still leading, Kirsty, so you can choose. You can take the first question, or you can pass it to Hector. I'll pass it to Hector, please. Right, thank you. You're Here welcome. we go, Hector. <laughs> first question for you. The three species of snake native to Britain are the grass snake, the smooth snake, and which other? You can pass if you're not sure. I think I know this one. OK. I've never heard of the smooth snake. Uh, and I know of the grass snake, very common, but I think it's the adder. You're going with adder? Adder. OK. Kirsty, do you have any ideas? No, the only thing I can think of is slow worm. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you could have passed it. Kirsty wasn't sure. Let's see if you're right. If you are, Hector, you get the first counter in this round, which could be crucial. Is the answer the adder? Yeah, absolutely okay. right. Britain's only native species of venomous snake as well. So, Hector, you're correct. You get to put the first counter into the machine in this round. Where do you want to go? Drop zone two, please. Let's go. Drop zone two, please. There's 12 counts mm. between you and Kirsty, so... It's good to take a chunk out of that as we can. Slide down! Oh, I didn't quite want to settle to do that. Hopefully... Sneak that black counter Oof. through. Because <laughs> the silver one could cause a problem if it just catches the back of it. There you go, yeah, nice. There we go. Is it going to nudge any go. over? Oh. Oh. Just a bit too heavy. <clears throat> Hard luck, Hector. Right, Kirsty, you get control. Time for your first question. OK. Published in 2021, the autobiography, Don't Laugh, It'll Only Encourage Her, is written by which British comedian and actress? Ooh. I'll probably kick myself. I'm trying to think of comedians and actresses. I think I'm going to pass. I'm right, Hector, Hector doesn't know. I was thinking about Dawn French's and who's my favourite comedian. Mm, she's uh, amazing. But actress, there is a bit of a doubly, so I'll, I'll stick with Dawn French. Dawn French. Did you have anyone in mind, Kirsty? That's the only one that came to my so head. So you would have said Dawn French? Yeah. Maybe it's the right one. Let's see, Hector, if you've stolen this counter. Is the answer Dawn French? No, the amazing Daisy May Cooper. Oh. Kirsty, good pass in the end. Good try, Hector. Yes. Sadly, you're wrong. Kirsty, you get the counter. So where do you want to go? Uh, drop zone two, please. Fire up two. <laughs> Can we get a slightly further over, which could oh, feel like more maybe. accurate, couldn't it? Yeah, there you go. I'll take that. Take that little <laughs> cluster. Nice. Five counters, £250. Let's take that and put it into your bank. That's going to put you on £1,800. Right, Hector, we come back to you. Time for your second question. Al Nasser, the football club that signed Cristiano Ronaldo in December 2022, is based in which country? You can pass, if you're not sure. Not too sure on this one, sir. I think I'll pass it to Kirsty. Kirsty, does this ring any bells? Yes, I think I know it. OK. I might be wrong now, I'm embarrassing myself. 
but I think it might be Dubai. Dubai. Let's mm. see if you are, Kirsty. It's a great deal if you are. Al Nasser. Is it a club in Dubai? Uh, it's actually Saudi Arabia. Oh. I'm Dubai is obviously, <laughs> yeah, Dubai is a city in the United Arab Emirates rather than a country, but Saudi Arabia, it is in the Middle East though. Uh, Hector, you get this counter though, so it's a chance to try and close the gap. What are you thinking? Again, I'll stick for drop zone two, I think, Ben. Far up two. Ooh, now, it's gone that side again. Is it going to be flat for you, Hector? Mm. Be flat. It is flat. Oh, lucky. <laughs> yeah, can we get enough of a shove? Split them, though. Yeah, mm. might just split them. Maybe get the ones into three with a little nudge. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Yes. Oh, yeah. Blood counted to go. Can we do something? Oh, oh my goodness. no. OK, so Kirsty, we come back to you. Time for your second question. Sinology is the scientific study of which domesticated animals? I mean, this would be an absolute guess if I was to go for it, so I'm going to pass it. Right. Sorry, Hector. Hector. You've got the house pets of dogs and cats, but it doesn't sound right, but... I say pig. Going with pigs? Pigs. Pigs. Don't know why, but domesticated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Domesticated farmyard animal, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Let's see, Hector, if you're right. Sinology. Is it the scientific study of pigs? <laughs> no, it's dogs, in fact. Oh, it comes from yeah. the Greek kynos, K-Y-nos, oh, yeah. Sinology. Good pass in the end, Kirsty. You get the yes. counter. Where do you want to go? Uh, drop zone two, please. Let's have drop zone two. Yeah, stick with that. Still more to plunder. Yeah, <laughs> that's left. Silver one going to go. Get that in the middle. Nice. Going to come towards that mystery as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> oh. Didn't think that was Well good. done. <laughs> Kept us on the edge. Eight counters, Kirsty. It's another lovely drop. You're picking them off beautifully. £400. Let's take that and put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £2,200. Right, Hector, we come back to you. Time for your third and final question. Kwasi Kwarteng was the Chancellor of the Exchequer under which British Prime Minister? Uh, Liz Truss. Going with Liz Truss? Yeah. Uh, Kirsty, what would you have said? No idea. You wouldn't have known? No. OK. Let's see if you're right, Hector. If you are, you get a counter. We really need something. Is the answer Liz Truss? Yes. Oh, well done. <laughs> he lasted 38 days yeah, in the role. She didn't last much really longer did. as Prime Minister. <laughs> and even with their crazy maths, I think they'd understand it's a tough job you've got here, Hector, to try and get it enough is. money to catch Kirsty. Where do you want to go? I'll go for drop zone one. Let's do it. Drop zone one, please. <laughs> there. OK. Nice. Settles well. Nudging forward. That was going to get close. Are we going to get you anything? No! Oh! Yes. I tell you Set what. Set it up really well for you. Kirsty's <laughs> tactic to put you in first has been absolute <laughs> tipping point masterclass. <laughs> That's amazing. You've set them up again, Hector. Sadly, nothing drops. Right, Kirsty, can you take advantage yet again? Yes. Like a tipping I'll point try. genius. <laughs> Here's your third and final question Which online word game was the most Googled term in 2022? Oh, I think I know this. Yeah. My husband does it every morning before we get out of bed. Um, I'm going to go with Wordle. You're going with Wordle? Hector, would you have known? No. You wouldn't have known? Wouldn't Let's see if you're right, Kirsty. If you are, you're definitely playing for our jackpot and you've got one more counter to add a little bit of money into the pot. Is the answer Wordle? Yeah, well done. <laughs> Absolutely right. Well done, Kirsty. Sadly, you. Hector, that means we're going to be losing you at the end of the round. Kirsty, you get one last counter put into the machine here. Where should we go? Uh, drop zone one, please. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Fire up drop zone one. You get an assist here, Hector, for all the money that you've given Kirsty. <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> Ooh, yeah. Even though it was slow, you've got it settled. Yeah. Anything over the top? Couple here. Oh, I didn't think it was going to go then. And is the tipping point ready or is it just going to set? Hey. Of course it's yeah. ready. <laughs> well done, Kirsty. <laughs> Seven counters drop for you, Kirsty. Another lovely drop, £350. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And it is pretty emphatic in the end. Our winner today with £2,550 is Kirsty. Very well done, Kirsty. You played Thank a you great game. Much. Hector, you've been brilliant, but I'm afraid to say with £950, we have found you to the point. Of course, you have won your golfing weekend. Yes, I have. Yeah, Thanks good. so much for playing.
Thank you very much. It's been a fantastic time. It's, it's been really job. lovely to meet Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Kirsty, as our champion in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. Now, this one is bigger and better than all the others. Yeah. Because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Yeah. And, of course, there is still a double in the machine. Get them to drop together, Kirsty, and it could be £20,000. Can Kirsty master the machine by finding a chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Kirsty is our winner today and has managed to get £2,550, which is a lovely amount of money. You've played an exemplary game, Kirsty. <laughs> really, really <laughs> impressive. I know the family are going to be thrilled to bits that you've got this far, yes. but they would be even more excited if you could take home the jackpot for them. Have you thought yes. about what you might like to do with the money? Yes, I have. There's a few things. Um, I turned 50 in a couple of years and my best friend and I... We've known each other since we were five. Right. We've always said we'll go on a holiday when we turn 50. We have the same birthday. Wow. So we'll go somewhere really nice. Amazing. I think. Also a family holiday. Yeah. And I would like to give some to charity. Bam. Yes. So there's lots that you can do with yes. it. A bit of celebration and a bit of generosity to some of the important causes near you would yes. be really great. Fingers crossed we get you that Thank jackpot. You. Time to find out whether Kirsty's going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, you just need to get it out again. If you want to go home with £20,000, to get it to drop with a double. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. Yep. All right, so where do you want to put our precious jackpot counter, Kirsty? Drop zone one because of the double. Yeah. It just looks like it could be a good one to could start. Could be the one? Yes, Let's I think it's it. the one. Fire up drop zone one, please. Okay, settles nicely. Drops quickly. Pretty central. Yeah, it was quick. <laughs> there's a mystery as well on that bottom shelf that might sort of slowly come forward too. Yep, yeah, you can see that underneath. There you go. Get a little nudge. We'll take £50 pounds to the one that drops in. Takes okay. up to £2,600 in the machine. But we're nice and flat just towards the right of centre on drop somewhere. Let's have a look at your categories, Curtie. This is what we have for you. Politics, film, art, Eurovision, history and sport. You can play them in any order you like. So where should we start for Hammond? I think I'll just go top to bottom and I'm going to go with three. Why not? Politics for three? Yeah. Politics for three it is. Of the following Conservative Prime Ministers, who was the youngest on their first day in office? David Cameron, John Major, Boris Johnson. Now, I think I know the answer to this, but it's between David Cameron and Boris Johnson. John Major, I think, was older, definitely. Okay, so rule him out. Rule him out, yeah. Oh, it's a close one, but I think I would probably go with David Cameron. David Cameron? Yes. Light up David Cameron, please. For the youngest Prime Minister when they first took office as Prime Minister. Was it David Cameron? Yes! Yay! <laughs> well done. Uh, David Cameron was 43. Yeah. Boris Johnson was 55. And yeah. John Major was 47. Was he only 47? Yes, <laughs> but it was a good few years ago, wasn't it? Decades yes. ago. So maybe at the time he felt older because yes, I'm so a similar age to you, so they seem ancient. Yeah. Uh, three counters, let's not worry about that. <laughs> Drop zone one. Yes, please. Light it up, please. Right, come on now, machine. Mm. Not oh, on the jackpot. A bit too far to the left. Might get the double move in. Yeah, might do. Get it with a couple of others would be nice. Three counts drop in. Let's give you £150 okay. pounds for those three. Takes you to £2,750. Pounds, but we can double it up because you've got your hands on that second yep. double. Takes you up to another £150. £2,900. Pounds. Two more to go okay. in. Drop some one again. Yes, please. Fire up one for us, please. That way. That way. Go to the left. Yes. <laughs> OK. Still a fair amount of money we could slowly gather and shove yeah. and nudge. Which is good. Another four counts drop in, so another yeah. £200. Takes us over three grand. Picks us up to £3,100. Third time lucky. He's got to get there this time. Yeah, come on then. Drop some one. Yes, please. Light it up, please. Two on the left. Let's have one on the jackpot counter machine. Oh. oh. Three to the left. Ugh. OK. Not to worry. Long way to go. Let's see if we can collect a bit of money as well. Oof. Take a couple of those counters over the top, hopefully. 
Yep. One there, and... One more drops in, so another £50. The money goes up nicely, Kirsty. £3,150. Didn't quite get at the jackpot counter. Let's go back to the categories. So heading down the list, film next. Yep, film for three, please. Film for three. Maybe it go. The 2022 film Firestarter is based on a novel by which horror writer? Clive Barker, H.P. Lovecraft or Stephen King? This would be an absolute guess. It's not my genre of books at all. Right. Chick flick girl. OK. <laughs> um, um, it'd be an absolute guess and I'll go with Clive Barker. Clive Barker? Yeah. Light up Clive Barker, please. The film Firestarter. Was it based on a novel by Clive Barker? No. Stephen King. <sighs> That's what I was going to say, but I thought it was too old. OK, let's go back to the categories. So, art. Art for three, please. Art for three. Which of the following artists is not also the name of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Raphael, Botticelli, Donatello. <laughs> I actually know this. This is a little bit sad that I know it. <laughs> well, you're, you're a girl of the sort of 80s and 90s, yeah. right? So it's... Raphael is obviously an artist. Donatello is obviously an artist. The one that isn't a Ninja Turtle is Botticelli. Botticelli? Yes. Right up, Botticelli, please. Let's see if we found the only artist that's not a Ninja Turtle. Is it Botticelli? Yeah, Yay. and of course, the other two Leonardo. turtles, Leonardo and oh, Michelangelo. Michelangelo, that's it. <laughs> right, drop some one. Yes, please. Five, right, drop some one, please. Right, got to get in the middle this time. Come on. Better. Yay, that's better, better, isn't it? Just oh. takes some of the weight off in front of it, definitely helps because it's going to yeah. be a bit heavier. 50 drops in, though. Takes us to yep. £3,200. Money's still creeping up, which is nice. Drop someone again? Yes, please. Light it up, please. Come on now, machine. Just edging to the right. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Not hard on the left. A bit of a gap down there now. Yeah. It's not really going to do much. No, I don't think so. Just slide things over. Drop someone again? Yes, please. Light it up. Oh, hold on. <laughs> They're dropping in. It was ready to go. I'm getting too carried away. <laughs> Let's give you £50 for that silver counter that dropped in. Takes us up to £3,250. Drop someone again? Yes, please. Light it up. <laughs> go, go, go. Now stop, oh. now stop, now stop. Oh, now that could be nice if you get it flat. Come on. Please go flat. It yeah. is, yeah. Now, hopefully, it's going to squeeze it forward. It's not going to be too heavy. Yes, 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 yes. Very yes. slightly. Good, 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 good. We've got it moving. <laughs> and three counters drop in. So another okay. £150. Add that in. Takes it up to £3,400. And we've got the jackpot counter moving. Yes. Right, let's go back to the categories. OK. Halfway, Eurovision. OK. Eurovision fan? Um, a little bit. My sister is. OK. <laughs> she has a party every year. Right. So I'm hoping that I will remember. You can channel her. Yeah, three. Three. Go with three. Eurovision for three. In 1998, Dana International won the Eurovision Song Contest representing which country? Greece, Israel or Australia? Oof. Ring I don't any bells? remember that far back. Um, I don't think it's Australia, because obviously they're not European. Or are they in it? I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go with a hunch and I'm going to say Israel, but it Israel? is just a hunch. Yeah. Something saying Israel to you? Something saying it's Israel, but I don't really know. OK, we're going to go Israel, please. Dana International. Did she win Eurovision 1998 for Israel? Oh. Yeah. That was a good guess. The song was Diva. Eurovision has a big following in Australia. They were invited to perform for the 60th Eurovision, which was in 2015, and they've not left since. And your sister would be very proud. She would be proud of me. Drop some one. <laughs> yes, please. Fire up, drop some one, please. Right, come on, right behind the jackpot. <laughs> They're going the right way and then oh, just sort of seem to gather wrong. a little bit of, yeah, momentum going left, which we don't no. want. OK, maybe a little bit of money. £50 might drop in. Yeah, it does. OK. OK. 
£3,450 when we add that into the machine. Money continues to creep up. We need to get behind the jackpot. Yes. Two more to go. Do you someone? Yes, please. Add it up, please. This is the one. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Gosh. Wow. Really is on the left-hand side. Yeah. So maybe we can they shift some of the it. weight in front. That might just slide down the left. A little oh, nudge. Pushed it a bit. Yeah, it did. More to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Let's go another £50, though. Yeah. £3,500 in the machine. One more to go in. Top zone Top one. Zone one, please. Slide it yeah. up. Come on now, machine. Give us something. That's more like it, isn't it? Yes. As long as it goes flat, I think that will slide up behind it. Yes. It's got to stay right on it. You give it a good squeeze, get it to the edge of the shelf. There you go, there you go. Right, oh. lovely. Bang there, and it's okay. connected, which is good. Perfect. And we'll shuffle mm. the bottom shelf. So we're getting there slowly. Okay. You're battling yeah. hard here, Kirsty. Back to the categories. History and sport. Um, I'm just going to go with history and for three. History for three, please. Yeah. In the 1939 Battle of the River Plate, the German ship Raff Spee was sunk off the coast of which country? Germany, Uruguay or Canada? I don't think it's Uruguay. I don't know why. And Canada probably knocks it so far away. I'm going to guess Germany. Oh, no, hang on. Germany hasn't got a coast, has it? Ah, uh, maybe Uruguay then. <laughs> Where's that got a coast? I don't know. Canada. Go in Canada. Yes. OK. Canada. Should we lock in Canada? Yes, please. We're going to Canada. <laughs> so you started off with Germany, <laughs> yeah. then you remembered no that there's a ship that was sunk off the coast of one of those countries. Yeah. So Germany, you think, is landlocked, so yeah. no coast. Then you thought maybe Uruguay, and then thought... I can't remember if that's on the coast or not. But Canada. But Canada definitely does, does have. Does have a yeah. coast, OK. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Canada? No. It's Uruguay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's an estuary between Uruguay and Argentina. Oh. There's a very famous football team in South America called River Plate, which is the only way I would have known that. I didn't I know that. I think it's, you know... No, nope, that's mind. Right. Onwards and upwards. We've got one last category, which yes. is sport. <laughs> this isn't going to be much strength either, but we'll go for three. We're going to stay positive. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go sport for it. Sport for three. Which London football club is most closely associated with the song I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles? Chelsea, AFC Wimbledon, or West Ham United? Oh, it's not Wimbledon. I think it might be West Ham. I don't know why I think that, but I just think it is. My husband would be really cross if I get this wrong. <laughs> is he a football fan? Yeah, big okay. fan. So he will know. Should we go West Ham then? Yes. Please. We're going to go West Ham. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Is that associated with West Ham United? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> the most iconic song. Yes. For the most iconic team. Uh, <laughs> They're your team. My team. <laughs> uh, well done, Kirsty. You got it right. Your husband will be proud. <laughs> Let's see if we can bang out this jackpot counter as well. Drop zone one. Yes, please. Light it up, please. I've had no joy down the right. Let's have something, please, machine. Bring it over for us. Oh, that's Ooh, not that's bad. A good one. If it stays on it. Come on. Push it, good push squeeze. It. Come on, come on, come oh. on, come on. Oh, one of the little nibbles and nudges, but it's not, not quite uh, in the right place, is it? No, not quite. OK. We'll take four counters, though. £200. Yep. Take us up to £3,700. Two more to go in. Job zone one? Yes, please. Light up one, please. Come on now, machine. Two in the right place. Better. Oh, it's going to go spot. right into come the gap on. behind it. We could have done with one there ages ago. Yeah. It's going to go right behind it, look. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> not one close to it. So we've got one more count to put in. Top zone one? Yes, please. Stay with one, please. It's not a million miles away either, but I'm not sure it's going to really get at it, is no, it? No, I'm not sure. So it's can we far. get a bit more money? Just a couple there. Come on now. Good spread. As much as we can, machine. Very Yay. nice finish. And five more. So another £250 goes in. We can add that in. The money looks good at £3,950. 
We're out of questions and categories. Curses, I'm sure you know at this stage, usually I would offer you a trade. Three final counters for what you've got so far in the hope of getting the jackpot count out. Given just how stubborn that counter has been <laughs> and it's still on the top shelf there, I think I know what you're going to say. I need to ask you nonetheless. Would you like to take the money or the trade? Um, I don't think that's going to budge for me today. I think I'll take the money, please, Ben. Congratulations. Well Thank done, Kirsty. Thrilled to bits. £3,950. A lovely amount of money. And hopefully we'll go towards the yes. 50th birthday celebrations definitely. and maybe something for the family and, and some charities as yes, well. Definitely. You've been amazing. No, thank uh, you. Have you enjoyed yourself? I've had a lovely time. Really lovely. Thank you. And we're going to come down to yes. the whole of the Tipping Point crew and we're going to have ice cream. Yes, absolutely. Morning, noon, and night. House. You've been amazing. <laughs> Kirsty, thank you so much thank for coming you. and taking part. So there you go. Kirsty's leaving with £3,950. We just couldn't get at the jackpot counter, could we? And it's still there on the top shelf. So frustrating. Join us next time in the fate of three more players. We're hanging the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.